Hello, Cancer, and welcome to New Hope Tarot. We're going to be doing your uh, general reading for the first half of January. I've already meditated upon the cards and have shuffled them, but uh, a lot of people like for when I shuffle them that they hear it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, give them a good go around real quick. All right. And while I am shuffling, um, remember if this reading does resonate, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel as it helps the channel grow and is uh, I'm able to reach more people this way. All right, and if you do hear me uh, writing as I do the, uh, the reading, it is because I do write notes. Um, as you know, I do write the abbreviated versions, the Cliff Notes versions. So um, in case you are looking to listen or go back and uh, read the Cliff Notes so you're not having to listen to the full recording. I do post that online as well. Okay, so if you do hear that, that is what that's about. We're going to be working with four decks of cards, two tarot decks and two oracle decks. All right, we're going to start with the two... Oracle decks first. Got an universe. What do you want Cancer to know for the first half of January? Got an universe. What's the very first thing you want Cancer to know for the first half of January? All right. Well, you got two from that particular deck. So let's take a look at those. Wow. Sovereign and power. Somebody's feeling quite powerful. Or maybe you have to take your power back. Um, on the Sovereign card, I'm seeing a ram's um, horns, ram's horns, which does mean balance. And uh, a ram could mean Aries, which is a, a fire sign. So that maybe you have a lot of energy, a lot of creativity going on right now. Um, and I think this is beautiful. So it looks like it is a crown of creativity. Uh, maybe a lot of you cancers right now are very, very, very creative at this point. Um, and then maybe you just need to hone that in just a bit with the um, balancing that I'm seeing here. But this is a beautiful card. The next card is a wand, which also means fire. Um, uh, I'm thinking that the creativity in fire means creativity. The wand means creativity as well. So maybe you're finding your power within your within your creativity. Or the creativity gives you power or a sense of power. Um, and, and by power, I mean a, a sense of yourself. You know, self-power, self-realization. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Cancer, clear and concise reading for the first half of January. What is it that you want Cancer to know? Okay. <laughs> In the second Oracle deck, balance. Isn't that what I said, you guys? Balance. I, I, I'm feeling that you have, um, you need to find your balance between that creativity I love it, and it reads, may you find equilibrium 
in motion. Isn't that what I just said? Oh, that's so funny. All right. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and pull out some tarot cards. Let's see here. Of January, my God, I just need you. Just what is it that you want Cancer to know for the first half of January? God, my God, just what is it that you want to know? Okay. All right. So we have the Seven of Wands, Ten of Swords, and the Three of Wands. Now, remember I said that in your, um, the power card, in the oracle card, it was a wand, which is um, creativity. And I'm seeing you have the seven of wands and the three of wands. And wands does mean creativity, also means fire. But in, in this particular seven of wands, I'm seeing that you're taking your power back. That's what I'm getting here. Um, a sense of you just taking your power back and you go, I'm, I'm doing this. This is, this is all for me. I don't care what obstacles are in front of me. And I, I'm seeing obstacles, right? Uh, the six of wands, because in this particular deck, there's six wands in front of the man and or the person forget whether it's a man or female it's it's just an individual um and the person is holding a wand and he's holding it quite assertively like he knows um and yeah he's just holding it he's like come at me with whatever you got i i know what i'm doing i know where i'm going i know where i'm headed and I'm not backing down. That's, like, he's got this face of come at me kind of thing. And uh, with the Ten of Swords, what I'm collecting um, intuitively from this particular card is that there is a new beginning. A death of you has gone by. Whatever you have gone through to get to this seven of wands point of come at me, you've, you've let that go. And I also feel like you're super protected. Um, in, in this particular card, your old self has, you, you've let that old self just die. It's, it's gone. And you're not even in limbo. You're not even in this, oh, what if it isn't going to work kind of a thing. No, you're like, it's done, it's dead, it's goodbye, and I'm moving forward. And that's what I'm getting with the um, three of wands moving forward. You are awaiting this journey. Um, and I, again, I'm getting this sense of protection around you. Um, but be careful of the chatter uh, that I'm seeing here with the other wands. And then in this picture or in this card, um, it's depicted with the, there's th three of wands. And there's, again, the guy, the, the person who's looking out into the ocean to a ship. And he's holding a wand. And there's two wands behind him. Um, and then also two birds and it's almost like the birds are just like, good luck. You know, like they, they can't believe that this is what you're doing. And they might be doing, there, there might be some chatter behind you. And there might be a few people that appear that they're on your side, but they aren't. Um, is what I'm getting here uh, for you, Cancer. 
Let's see here. Let's get some clarification cards. We have the, with the Seven of Wands, I have the Lovers. And the Six of Cups. And with the Ten of Swords, I have the Death Card. <laughs> and with the Three of Wands, I have the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Wands. All right, so because they all jumped out, I went ahead and I placed them down before I started reading them because they just decided to jump out of the deck. Normally I just do one card for each, but that's not what happened with your reading. Um, so the Seven of Wands, we have the Lovers. And with the Lovers, I, I, in this particular reading, I'm not getting anything about love. I'm not saying that there isn't love out there, but what's coming through strongly in this particular reading, it's all about your specific journey and your self-realization journey and your self-love journey. That's what I'm getting with this Lovers card. It's your, it's a self-love. Um, it's a, it was a decision that you made to love yourself, love what it is you want to do, and do it. So you're putting yourself first, Cancer. That's what I'm seeing here, and I am very, very proud of you because, wow. And you're just trusting that journey. Um, with the, uh, the other clarification card was the Six of Cups. Hold on one second. I'm just going to drink some water. Six of Cups is a balance card, which again goes along with the balance uh, that came out uh, in the Oracle cards. Um, it's, it's balance, harmony, uh, I wouldn't say trust necessarily, but I'm feeling trust. The card isn't necessarily about trust. It's more about balance and harmony, like the harmonious flow of things. But I, I, I don't know if I'm getting trust because you trust your yourself that much and your ability that it's sparking your creativity that much more. And because it's sparking your creativity that much more, it's creating the harmony that you are in need of. Uh, to to um, let that flow with the Ten of Swords, which I discussed was the death of an old thing. And then, of course, what comes up? The death card. Change, transformation. It's, it's exactly what you needed. And, and death it isn't a dark thing. Death is just a transformation of letting go of the, of the past version of yourself in this particular case to allow for a rebirth to occur, which is what we had mentioned before on the Ten of Swords. Um, that's really all I'm getting on this particular card. And funny enough, because you know how the, the death card has the, um, the, the horns, right? That's also what I was getting on the Sovereign card. I was getting the Rams and then there was other uh, horns on there, but they really look more like unicorn um, uh, horns, but either way, it's, it's just strength. So everything's tying in beautifully, uh, with the three of wands, I'm, I got the, well, I didn't get, you got, um, we have the, uh, queen of cups and the 10 of wands with, um, Queen of Cups clarifying the Three of Wands is you're taking your actions, you're moving forward, and I'm seeing this to be a quite fulfilling um, 
journey for you specifically emotionally this is i feel something that you've been wanting to do for quite some time and you have the goals to to do it and i'm very proud of you for that and then with the 10 of wands it's all about taking action a complete cycle um this is probably something for a lot of you this is something that you have been wanting to do for quite some time and you're finally revisiting it and and getting out there to do it so so that's that's wonderful and for others of you this is a new spark something that that kind of started occurring within your mind within your senses once you let an old part of yourself pass away new things started kind of flickering and and sparking within you um but i am going to warn you my dear cancers um as i mentioned before balance um please ground yourselves that's going to be super vital for you moving forward because yes it's wonderful to charge ahead there's nothing wrong with that but do so as you're grounded okay that's going to be a uh, key for you moving forward i'm going to pull one last card here for you guys Yeah, this is all about your creativity and the strength that you have right now. What a way to start off the year. Leaving your old self behind and starting off this new year balanced, powerful, and strong loving yourself all right and the last card is get curious in this particular card what i'm seeing for you in particular is let your imagination and your creativity stretch let it grow to places that you didn't even know it could take you get a little wild with it just see what see where it goes I'm also picking up um, don't work hard work smart put something out there that you think it's kind of silly a lot of you might find it um, that's what's gonna grow that's what's gonna flourish that's what's going to take flight I'm not saying giving up on I'm not saying to give up on any of your other things but there's something here about stretching your imagination in a way that you hadn't thought of it feels like lightning i don't know what that means to you guys it has to resonate with somebody i i, I don't know that's that's all i'm seeing is flashes of lightning just like sparks just kind of that crackle that kind of extends throughout the sky it starts off as something and then all of a sudden you get silence and you see it just kind of illuminate the sky that's what i'm seeing i don't know what that means but that's what i'm getting all right, my beautiful Cancer, that was your reading for the first half. That's your general reading, pardon me, for the first half of 
January. I hope this resonated with you. Again, if it did, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out the abbreviated version that will be up on the site as well. All right, my dear Cancers, until we meet again, much love and light. Stay strong, stay balanced. Love you all.